Contenders. This is Contenders Employment Survivor Race. I'm Young De Lee. This is the second episode with Hanguk GM. Hello, I'm Ellie Jang. Ellie, what do you think of are the qualifications for a great marketer? A good marketer, or a great marketer, I would say, that would be someone with a good marketing strategy and someone with, uh, who can develop a good marketing plans. What about you, PJ? What do you think? Hello, I am PJ Rogers. Happy to be with you all today. A great marketer. Uh, a great marketer is someone that knows his constituents, the customers in which he's dealing with, someone that understands their wants, their needs, and able to fill those needs and to, to basically get them to buy what he's selling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so strategy and some skills for communication, mm -hmm. I fully agree with your opinion. And to test for those qualifications, we have two missions today mm -hmm. as debate and presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Through debates, we can evaluate the communication and persuasion skills and through presentations, we can evaluate the marketing abilities. Mm -hmm. Before that, why don't we take a look at a recap from last week? Let's have a look. Contenders with Hanguk GM, the first episode. The eight contenders were selected after a long and careful deliberation. First challenge is the quiz. Taekwondo. And that. Who is the Dalai Lama? Libya. <laughs> Second round is the quiz matrix. Silco. YouTube. Nepal. Carbohydrate. Guan Su Young, Yi Ju Hyun, Ju Jin Shir, Park Kerim, and Kim Hong Char passed the first set of challenges after a nerve wracking competition. But it isn't over yet. The fight for the last spot still remains. Won Young. Berlin. Kyol. Working for. Won Young. Cobra. Jung Young. Michelangelo. Who is this musician? George Michael. Incorrect. The answer is Gary Moore. Lee Jong Hyo passed through a narrow crack and won the final spot. A new set of challenges await these six contenders. Wow. Really talented and competitive six surviving contenders. It's the time to meet the six surviving contenders. Please welcome them. Welcome all of you. you. You made it. You made the first cut. We had to send two of them packing last week, but uh, all of you were able to stay with us. Hedim, uh, you, you made actually the original five uh, before we you know, added the sixth one. Uh, are you going to be on the top four today? I hope so, but I don't know. At the time, I really barely hold my mood dance, but uh -huh. I won't make it today. So. Well, give good me, luck to give you. Me, give me five for me. You all look very happy surviving, you know, from last week. Especially Chong Yo, you made it at the last minute. Do you think you can be in the top four? Uh, I, I hope so. I'll try my best to be here next week. Mm -hmm. Okay, great to see you again. But unfortunately, today, just two of you contenders will be eliminated through today's mission. Mm -hmm. And the judge can decide the results. All right, let's uh, welcome the judges for today, please. We have Dr. Kim byung Ju from Kim Lee and Partners, also an adjunct professor of international studies in Hanguk University of Foreign Studies. <laughs> Dr. Song Wan Gun, the director of Korea Economic Research Institute. Mr. Cho Ju Hyun, Senior Manager of Marketing from Hanguk GM. 
Mr. Lee Young Sub, also from Hanguk GM, the senior manager of marketing team. Uh, we have Mr. Robert Treem, the director of HRN, also compensation and talent management division from Hanguk GM. Thank you for joining us today. Um, let's get started. The first round as a debate. Um, nuclear power plant is it necessary? It's the, our topic today. We have a brief clip about the nuclear energy and power plant. Let's take a look. Nuclear energy refers to the energy that is created through the explosion of the atomic bomb and the change of nuclear reaction. Currently, 31 countries are running 433 nuclear power plants and 200 more are either under construction or are scheduled to be built. Projections indicate that Korea's nuclear power development will increase by 48% in 2024. Warnings against nuclear power plant development started to surface after the Chernobyl disaster and 9-11, but with the threat of the depletion of fossil fuel reserves, countries began to turn their attention to the development of nuclear energy. However, with the explosion of nuclear power plants in Fukushima, Japan, many are hotly debating over the necessity of nuclear power plant development. Is it really necessary? Development of the nuclear power energy is both the local issue and the global issue. It is told as one of our new engine for development of our economy, but it brought the disaster on the global basis. And Juhyun, are you familiar with such kind of issues? Uh, actually, when I was a student, and I, I don't know about this the statement, but now it is very controversial issue today. Uh, you know, everyone knows the, it's the Japan disaster. So I think it, uh, our, uh, today's the de debate is very interesting. Thank you. So Young, is this a topic that you are g interested in generally, or is it just because we're talking about it today? Is this is something you've thought about before? Yeah, I actually, I heard about it a lot of times. And I actually have a big interest in this kind of like energy issues because I think we cannot live without this. So yeah, this is like indispensable issue to debate and think about more. Great. I guess uh, everybody has different opinions on this matter. And now let's take a look if how the contenders have divided their teams into pros and cons. Let's have a look. <laughs> The contenders are hotly discussing the possible debate topics. What are they thinking? Today's debate topic is the development of nuclear power plant. Is it necessary? <laughs> Others fell into silence and worry. It's kind of this scientific thing, so... I mean, I'm very worried. It has so many pros and so many cons, so it's like, you know, it's kind of hard to decide which uh -huh. side to. Uh, I think it's very clear that um, it's always going to be that we have to develop a nuclear energy. We just have to find out how we're going to develop it. Equipped with laptops and smartphones, they divided the pros and cons group among themselves. And their decision is... I think development of nuclear is necessary. Is very necessary. I disagree this statement. I do not think it's necessary. I disagree. I think nuclear power plant is necessary. Only two hours ago, the contenders received this topic and they divided themselves into two teams, pros and cons. Although the teams are divided into the affirmative and the opposition, or the, the pros and cons, you will be judged individually. The judges will pick first, second, third, all the way to the sixth place. And obviously you want to be uh, as close to the first place as possible. It's not an easy task to rank the contenders just by basing on their debating skills. Uh, but let's hear from the judges how they will evaluate the skills of the contenders. Dr. Kim byung uh, Debate is a debate, so our criteria are quite straightforward. 
We'll be closely watching the overall contents of your message, how logical they are, how coherent all your points are, and also your delivery. The effective delivery will count very much. And also initiative, your leadership in leading the discussion as a whole. Uh, and lastly, we'll be closely watching the spontaneity of your response. So those will be the criteria. Thank you. OK, so let's get started the debate, please. Welcome to the Contenders Debate. Uh, we are looking for lots of new ideas, uh, unique ideas, and to, to back up your opinion and your side. And why don't we start with the affirmative side, Hong Chol. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's a great pleasure uh, for me to start today's debate. I think it will be a very heated subject. Um, on our former side, we strongly believe that the development of nuclear power plants is necessary and that we should move forward to. Uh, many countries have uh, invested heavily and are still investing and looking forward to invest uh, in development of power plants. Now, if we were to discontinue the funding that is involved in this, this could later on um, resolve to economic recession and even a uh, resource race. Nuclear power plant is, may seem harmful, but it still has a lot of positive effect. One of my evidence to support my opinion is is nuclear power plant is very friendly to environment energy source because that reason I uh, I agree with that uh, we should we need the nuclear power plant and we can keep on persistent development our nuclear power plant and also it can be carry out the role of the alternative way to the energy source. Do you think? Any kind of alternative any energy uh, can replace nuclear energy within five years or 10 years? How about 20 years? It's uncertain. So I admit, uh, like I like him, had him said, uh, the nuclear power energy may seem harmful. But um, how about this? If you put on a scale, like um, how much it costs to develop efficient the alternative energy like nuclear power or to develop more safer um, nuclear energy. I think it is more reasonable. Okay, that's the uh, affirmative side or the pro side. Now we hear from the uh, opposition, uh, Jian. Yes, it can be the nuclear, it uh, can bring the worst, worst catastrophe. We also the Japan disaster. Uh, even the Japan is one of the most uh, the powerful prepared country of the natural disaster. But this Japan is in a very serious situation now. Furthermore, this kind of situation is not first time. It is the third time, the TMI, Chernobyl, and Japan disaster. For this reason, the nuclear energy is very dangerous, dangerous for us. Thank you. Um, to add to what Juhyun said, there are many more alternative sort resources that could provide us energy. And um, wind, it's not only wind and solar energy, but tidal and thermal and bio as well. We can even get energies from sunflower seeds. So why should we linger and focus on the energy source of the past when we have all this much more environmental friendly ways of providing energies? Well, I have a question for you. What do you think you guys would do if nuclear power plants gonna built in your backyard? Of course, you're gonna say no. Because of radiation, because of the safety matters? Then why would you wanna build more nuclear power plants? We, we all saw what happened in Fukushima just now. So we should focus, we should decrease the number of our existing nuclear power plants and strive for the safer, eco-friendly power source for mankind. That's a great point. Hong Chul, answer his question. Do you want, you want a power plant built in your backyard? Uh, definitely I do, because I know how vital it is in the country I need that we have these resources, especially in a country like Korea, where we don't have that many natural resources. We're dependent on it. Otherwise, our economy will go fall into the, um, recession. Definitely. Uh, according to the, our research, the South Korea has the 29 wind plants then a lot of energy is producing now. And even though according to the, the Hanguk display, and they, say, they said in 2050, solar energy would be produced about 50% of the energy in the world. 
So it is very, we have the lots of kinds of alternative energies. Yeah, he, he said about solar energy, but yeah, right. I think it is really an inefficient way to pro produce energy because if, if you want to supply a, for a whole country like Korea, we need like land more than like six times bigger than Seoul city, like big city. Do we have then enough land in Korea? No, we don't have land like six times bigger than Seoul. It's really idealistic idea to produce energy. She, make, she brings up a good point that, you know, Korea, the, the size, given the size of Korea, how would, you, how would you take on your task? Have you heard about the Sahara Solar Breeder? They using the, the like sand in Sahara and it can, it can collect, it can, it, uh, this can collect uh, the lots of the solar energy. So some Japanese uh, scientists uh, the, is, is developing the, about that, so they said, so it is very possible really to uh, the produce ratio of, kind, ratio of the energy. Yeah. Oh. I have a question for Hong Chol. Okay. You said you're agreeing with the power plant in your backyard, right? Yeah. But study shows that people living around the power, nuclear power plant mm -hmm. has have three times bigger potential to get cancer. That's Would exactly you? the point because we have to develop this. When I say development, I say that enhance, make it more efficient, make it safer. That is the key point in development. If you just leave it at the current state, it will not develop. It will be even more hazardous. But if we attack this, make it safer, then anybody will be safe with um, a nuclear power plant in their backyard. Why not? Let's make it safer. Let's develop it. Thank you. If you would, you would want to make it safer, then it would cost you something. Like Soyang said, um, solar energy or other alternative energies that would cost you something. So why wouldn't you develop a new energy that is environmentally friendly? Do you, do you know, you guys, just what is the, the biggest dis disadvantage about the nuclear, nuclear energy? The first thing is the cost. Second is the dangerous. When you mention cost, can I just yeah. okay, point out I, one thing? I, 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 I can say about that. Cost, you, you want to say the cost is the, so low, but when you when you build the the nuclear plants, it you need the the ratio of cost. No, so I'm saying the exact opposite. I'm saying that the costs are high. For instance, the U.S. right now invests 18 billion dollars in their um, uh, to support uh, and develop nuclear energy. France relies 76 percent on nuclear energy. Now, if we uh, discontinue uh, discontinued this development, what do you think will happen when they try to invest in alternative energy? It'll, the cost will be six times more. The economic re um, recession that will occur is like catastrophic when you talk about catastrophic. And I'm going to back up that. Uh, he, he said the cost is problem and the danger is the biggest problem. Yeah, then, yeah it's dangerous. It seems really dangerous. But okay, in Japan's case, um, you heard the news and newspaper, oh, right? Oh, yeah, um, I, like in Japan, okay, okay. like yeah, yeah. Japan. the newscaster said uh -huh. the earthquake was the like natural disaster, but the, the nuclear like nuclear plant disaster was man-made disaster. That means we could handle it if we like if we did a lot of like precaution and we prepared a lot. Actually, Japan is the own the like the exact exact place on the ring of the fire. It's really dang the most dangerous place to build the, um, build the nuclear plants. So if you build somewhere else, very safe, and if we prepare more in, than in this. In case of Chernobyl, it is not natural disaster. The, just uh, somebody, somebody take, uh, took the mistake. If somebody took the mistake, yeah, we should think about this. You should, guys. You should guys all over talking about the safety or dangerous thing, but in the case of pharmaceutical company, they know the side effect about their drug something, but they keep on their development of, of their new drug, so they're increasing their safety. That's why we should more development our nuclear power plant. But the problem with the pharmaceutical thing you just mentioned, it's they're doing it to animals, not human being. And they're doing it to people who are no, 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 also, diagnosed with deadly, with like, can't. Uh, I, I think her point uh, mainly focuses on, like, the current drugs, onto the, if we're talking about ph pharmaceuticals, they're not perfect. Nothing's perfect. 
but the more inve they invest, they lower the, the, um, the side effects. They lower everything. But if you leave it alone, you're just leaving out a very dangerous drug. Are you saying to leave it alone? No, no, no. I mean, what, then why, why putting the money into replacing energy? Why nuclear power? You, you, no, no, no. no. You mentioned about the cost, right? Efficiency, right? Yeah. yeah. Cost, right? Do you know, because n people think nuclear power plant is efficient because they didn't, they didn't think about the potential cost. Look at Japan right now, in Fukushima. It takes them five years to cool down their using, current use, using or spent up fuel rod. And then after that, they have to put poor cement down and bury the whole factory, whole power plant, and then wait for 10 years. Who learned. do you think is going to live there but for 10, 15 From years? From people have learned that they have to be in the, um, develop and more safer. From uh, Three Miles uh, Island, they learned the mistakes from there and then came on. From Japan, we will learn from that and make a more f efficient facility. What do you guys think about the, what is the most important thing uh, in the world uh, in any people the, in our thing? It's the human. Human's life is a very important thing. But it has some dangerous thing we should stop. But so his point is, any dangerous point yeah. If there's any danger in it, if I'm correct, it, then we should not do it. Just only 0.0001% have the dangerous possibility, we sh you then should be stopped. You should, then you should stop thermal, thermal power plant and like water power plant and every energy source because everything has possibility to have something oh, like dangerous. Know, but so to be different. honest, it, it has less possibility of um, disaster than compared to nuclear energy. No, thermal power plant uh, has more and a, a lot of problems when it uh, when it when it started first, like this, and they have like a lot of like ec um, like environmental problems like waste, and they have they cause like global warming and everything like that. So 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 Young's <laughs> point is that it did start off with development cost and or uh, lots of not good things or very dangerous things, but then they developed it better. What's your response to that? Before, before we found out the problems with thermo energy, is that what you call it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thermo energy, we used it without thinking, right? And then after we found out there's a problem with thermo energy, we invented nuclear energy. Now we, know, we now know the dangers, danger and the problem with nuclear energy. Why, why can't we just go on to the better energy, like solar, like sunflower seed, bioenergy? If, if you have a chance Seriously? to choose better life, but, but it's some kind of they're dangerous in there, you give up the, all the chance of that? Well, you should not linger on that system. If it fails, it continues to fail. You have to try new things and see what happens. Maybe um, tidal power and, like what I said, sunflower seed, it could be very successful. And if you don't try it, you never know how much it's going to do for you. Uh, on that, um, I think uh, your perspective is, um, like, the human race, our existence itself is, uh, when we see uncertainty, we don't back, back turn, uh, turn around from it. We, we have the pioneer spirit. We attack it. Uh, we see through it. That's, that's the human nature. And that's what, what you're asking is, the first sight of danger, you want us to turn away. Mm -hmm. There will never be the moment, and we won't be where we are today. Um, I say yes to humanity. And <laughs> <laughs> to be poor and the show the democracy not, we are failure and failure and the fight all fight over the some kind of government, we can, we can make the, our life live now. And here's a problem, here's that. a problem, here's a problem. <laughs> Why? No matter how much, you, how much money you put in to minimize the risk for nuclear power plant, if there's a 10.0, 10, 10, 11, 11 degree earthquake right next to you, it's going to break down and it's going to, same thing's going to happen. What are you, what are you going to say? I if the, some, it's a solar energy breaks down, my, Sun is still there. My, oh, my, my point is every energy source has possibility of danger. And nuclear power. What's, what's, and, the, what's the, the danger in this of the solar power? Flowers, um, solar, uh, solar, um, solar energy is not efficient energy to uh, make but enough not, power. You see, the real, you see the realistic, realistic like, society now. Yeah. You need energy. And you need to make 
enough energy now. Okay, if you what keep you the okay, so I, so I, let me let me summarize I her point. What you say. Can we make enough energy with just solar energy? Can we Without do that? Without the energy, no. we uh, we are gonna yeah. in danger too. But we are not just talking about solar energy here. We are talking about all kinds of different energies, energy sources, and you could um, have a solar energy power plant where the at, in the region, region where there are a lot of sunlight and you could plant, have tidal power where there are water around. And that could provide enough energy for everybody. And also you also said, um, would we, why should we turn around on all systems that we have? But why don't we try new things and see if it works out and we could find a way to improve all those new energies and if that doesn't work if everything doesn't work out then we could turn back and we could try um, all things that we tried before number one some flower uh, seeds will not like cover anything i mean it's, it's a promising thing but anything that comes right now is in the future not the distant future but in the far future uh, we are actually pulling that this alternative energy is well developed, but in the current state of mind, uh, in the current state, um, it's not practical enough. We still have a lot to do, and uh, we have to uh, focus on the practical states. And I say uh, I agree with that. What you're doing is a cr um, correct idea, but it takes a long time to uh, make it practical. But Great. I think I, well, actually, we're going to have So Young, if you can give your, uh, the affirmative side wrap up. Um, like, if you see the Korea, we don't have land to make enough energy and build solar energy plants. And you can say tidal energy. Tidal energy is too inefficient and it's too hard to find like, the proper place to build. We, we are actually... Um, we are actually using thermal plants powers in Korea uh, currently, and it has danger okay. too, like the nuclear power plants. And if we, if we handle it and we can like change uh, change the price per schedule, unlike the Japan, uh -huh. I think we can make it. We okay. have chance. Okay, Jungyo, what happened in Japan? By earthquake, it isn't just a problem of Japanese. It is our problem as a mankind. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to build more nuclear power plants, which only going to result in more disasters? Because we uh, Hold up, hold yeah. up, hold up. <laughs> yeah. We should focus on other eco-friendly energy source, which could harmonize mankind mm -hmm. and the environment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, you know, Young Day, I, this is one of the uh, better debates that I've heard in a long time. Wow, it is really informative for me. Once again, they did not, you know, particularly choose the actual side. That you know, they could have different opinions. But for the contenders, they put up their dukes, you know, and we're the we're we're for and we're against. I love that that passion that y'all have. And they only had the two hours to to research to debate it. So a uh, big hand for the debaters. Wow, sure. Show us the rank, please. Hong oh, Chol, yeah. congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, you took number one in this debate. Why do you think that was? Why do you think you, they, they picked you as number one? Oh, uh, well, I have a loud voice, so I, I think I just kind of... <laughs> overthrown my voice out there, but um, yeah, uh, it was very competitive and it was really hard for me, so um, I think I'm very lucky to be in this position. Great job. <laughs> All right. Next, we'll see the presentation skills of each contender. Stay with us.
The presentation will be given by the three teams of two, and the two contenders with the uh, same topic will become a same team. Contenders chose their topics. Kim Ong Chul, the South Pole. Lee Jong Hyo, the South Pole. Won So Young, the Sahara Desert. Ju Jin Shih, Manhattan, USA. Lee Ju Hyun, Manhattan, USA. Finally, Park Hye Im, the Sahara Desert. The presentation topics are. Develop convenience features and options for cars suitable for the Sahara Desert, the South Pole, and Manhattan, USA. Wilderness, reliability. 초후에 종료하겠습니다. 세컨드 라운드 is the mission for presentation. And the team South Pole starts the presentation. And Hongchul? Yes. So are you ready? Uh, yeah, we were always born ready, uh -huh. I think. And Jong Hyo, <laughs> how yes. about your teamwork? Oh, it was great. It was great to work with Hong Chai, and we had some commonality, so we had no problem working together. Okay, so let's start the presentation. Team South Pole, please. Yes. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Chong Hyo Lee. I'm here. This is Hong Chai Kim. We're here to present some features that you need in South Pole. So, what do you need? Um, what kind of features do you need? if you're in the harshest place in South Pole by yourself. Here's some um, options, features we give you right now. It's, we have sunlight detector, flotation device, and wilderness alarm. Why? When you're alone in a harshest place, security is the most important thing you want. So here's the first, our fi first features. This is a sun, sun protection alarm. And there is a device on the top of the roof that detects the level of the sunlight, the ultraviolet light. So if you're exposed too much, it will alarm the driver and uh, it will dim the window automatically. So um, I'll explain the rest of the features because I um, also like the sun device because of the snow conditions. When it, uh, when it reflects off the snow, it can actually be harmful to people even though they don't detect it. Um, this is also a, a, a survival device. Like uh, people might not think, may look into design, something creative, but we want to assure people like survival can be a marketable product. Um, this, this is a flotation device. For instance, that you're driving um, on, on ice. It can, be, uh, can happen in those conditions and it, because of the weight, if it cracks and the call, car falls in, because of the um, harsh weather conditions and or anxiety, uh, you might not be able to react. What this will do is it will release from the, the bottom of the car a chemical that works as a sponge. So it keeps the car above the water level, uh, securing the uh, safety of the driver and the people in it. So I think this will be very uh, helpful. And the third device will be if you're in the Arctic uh, and um, if you watch Man vs. Wild on Discovery Channel, you'll notice that people are always endangered by the wilderness. So if you're st stranded in a location and uh, your car doesn't start, maybe this can set up alarm that animals uh, react, um, will be offensive by. So it will drive the animals away. So we focus on safety as a marketing tool and we um, looked at this as a way to maybe look at the tourists or the people who are not familiar with these conditions and uh, that it will be very helpful and uh, desired by the consumers. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, South Pole team. And let's hear from the judges. Any comments and questions, please? You know that the South Pole is known for its harsh and cold weather. So, 
the engine might be frozen or anything like that from the, from the low temperature. Is there any protection for that? GM makes the best engine ever, so. <laughs> and uh, also, um, additional what we can also do is, uh, also on the software, for instance, uh, this is the hardware, but if we look at like lubricants or like um, oils, special oils that uh, are recommended by GM, uh, I think that can also be um, an incentive later on. Jungyo? How are we going to sell this car to rental companies? Um, people who are living in South Pole, they're used to their local, so they don't know where, to, where the danger is. So the tourist company will make sure that tourists, that, um, that the security is the best for, you know, for the trip. So we're going to tell the tourist company that security and reliability for visitors because we don't want anyone to die in South Pole. Okay. Uh, I would also like to point out that, um, well, this can be like uh, safety is a requirement for uh, the government. So we can also work with the legal firms, say, imply, uh, you need to apply this as a regulation to the vehicle uh, within the market so that uh, it is a requirement, though, and we have the technology. So I think it will be productive that way as well. Okay, very good job. Thank you for your presentation. Well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, next team is Team Sahara Desert. And Harim, what about your teamwork? It's really nice. I, I really have to be with, with So Young and mm -hmm. we really great of our, our idea about the it's very strong school and I think we're gonna make it. Okay. So it's the turn of Team Sahara Desert, please. Hi everyone, I'm really honored to have our camel project today. Um, camel project is a, become a camel for your car. Um, in Sahara, a lot of people visiting Sahara are traveler and uh, the cars are usually like land hard because it's hard to have a car in Sahara. So our target market is fashion aid traveler and car rental stores owner. And we're gonna become a camel with animal detector and paragliding sand border, oasis fender, water profile, and voice guide. Let me introduce the first one, uh, animal detector. Um, when it comes to traveler, they go to Sahara to find some very interesting and fresh things and especially animals. So if you have animals within um, um, close your car, um, the car alarm and say it, um, there is an like animal. So you can see a fox and you can see a very like fresh animals. So you can check it and you can go, go there and you can have a picture with that. So it will make your travel more interesting. And then you can enjoy paragliding. We have paragliding uh, tools in your car uh, as an option. So you can use the wind in Sahara and you can enjoy paragliding. More interesting than riding a, a camel. As we can say, we, we are our target is very passionate about the about their adventure and they want to be their traveler. So we're gonna we're gonna set some kind of development or picture is sandboard. Ever know the sandboard? As when we going up the hill in the in the this desert, we can we can play with a sandboard. We can also device already in there in the up up in the solid lighting. So and it will be a great chance to make big real, real life in the desert. And second end, everyone, when we, when we hear about the, the desert, we always think, what? That's right, oasis and water. <laughs> yes, we are picture, uh, added our picture in the oasis binder. Can you imagine that when we, we do, when whether we, we have done have any water or not, we don't, any, we don't worry anymore because we have oasis binder. It can be the bind, where is the place to who in the in the, the water or, or the, or some, the kind of the pond? And we also with in divided our water plot 
water purifier. This is this is means too. It can be water in our car. Even though we don't have any fine oasis, we can also we can also eat our water in the water purifier. And last one is voice guide. Everyone need one to company with some kind of guide, but we don't we don't anymore to cause them to affording it because we have voice guide in the car. When when you want to start a button. We can we can want to want to their history about Sahara, about their reason, or was attracted way to the adventure thing. Also in the in that, I want to say to I want to say to you guys, yesterday is history, tomorrow is mystery, today is gift. That's why we call present. If you choose become a camel, it make different to you. It more it can it could be your present today. Thanks. Wow, the Sahara team, that was uh, a number of very unique ideas they come up with. Uh, judges, uh, your comments, questions? Question to uh, So Young Shi. Uh, I noticed that uh, your team, and as well as the previous team, seem to think that creativity is the most important factor in selling or marketing options. Yeah. But in addition to creativity, what are the, some of the important factors when you're trying to market or sell options in a car? Um, in addition to the creativity, uh, we need to sell something really good. You know, we can, we can give uh, our credibility to our customer by selling something very actually good, not like seems good. Yeah. I was uh, accidentally thinking about the question of affordability as well, but oh, yeah. no further questions. <laughs> I think it's very creative, but we do sell cars. So I'm kind of, I look at the presentation and I'm missing the main thing that is the heartbeat of uh, GM Korea, which is the, uh, the automobile. And I do, I do think you have to think one thing about the customer, how many there are with all these unique creative features and how does that play out in um, the affordability and profitability of the uh, the vehicle. The Camel is the concept name. The Camel is kind of com comparable and be comfortable vehicle and more careful using because some of guys are very worried about when we, when we ought to say the take some animal is very then dangerous and dangerous and also it can be harmful to the dare. So if you don't want to take the camel or if you don't want to be adventure with some safety, they can use the, this car camel. And in Sahara, camel is the uh, strongest competitor to uh, like the car tour. So we want to get some strong, uh, strong factors from camel, like interesting um, uh, and the, their, their interesting uh, way to make customer happy. So we added some fun features like camel. So yeah, camel is our like, um, way, way to learn how they do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But just don't try to be too clever. <laughs> Okay, very good job, Team Sahara Deserts. Thank you. <laughs> so next turn is Team Manhattan and Jinshil. Are you ready? Yes, I'm more than ready. Uh huh. Actually, I would like to ask, because we have the guys team, we have the girls team, and we have the co-ed team. <laughs> yeah. And so it'll be interesting how the co-eds work as opposed to the girls working together and the guys working together. Okay, so be very interesting. let's hear from the team Manhattan, please. Hello, everybody. First of all, thank you for your time being here with us today. I'm going to... Um, we're going to start off this presentation by asking you a question. Um, how many of you here think that what you're wearing today actually represents yourself? Well, I'll assume that you guys raise your hand. <laughs> and um, it's the same for the cars. There is a car, for example, there is a car that passes by you. It's very unique and you really like the car. You would wonder who's in the car, right? And so we came out with a car that's very special that will make you be the center of the attention. And we call it 
the flying car. We call it Halimobile, the perfect combination of a helicopter and a convertible. Have you heard of it's the flying car? Yeah, it is the really, really fantastic. Yeah, look at this picture. <laughs> we will combine these two features. It's a helicopter and comfortable car. It is very awesome. So, OK, our goal is we will introduce the time efficient flying car to the citizen of Manhattan. And our target market, our target audience is business women and men. And age, uh, age range from the 25 to 50. And they are really innovat innovative. And they also very rich and busy. Uh, according to the, our research, uh, one million, uh, over one million, uh, 600,000 600, people live in Manhattan. So it is the very good point our for our the creative car. Uh, uh, we will focus on Upper East Side uh, because this is the, the main part in Manhattan. And that's where most of the rich people live. And yeah, like it says, multi-million dollar th townhouses are there. So we are going to show you why it's it would be useful to the people in Manhattan and how we use the product. It is very time efficient because they are busy businessmen and women and they wouldn't have to, they, ha they wouldn't have enough time to go to the airport and stand in the line. They wouldn't want to do that because they have the money to buy this product. And the car, the convertible, it is, very, it is foldable, the wing. So it would be able to be parked at your garage and it is combined with helicopter aspect, so you would be able to fly off right in front of your garage. And these rich people have their big yards usually, so it would be very useful for them. And loyalty is very important to rich people as well. They would like to feel special. They would have to, they would want to have something very different from what their neighbors actually have. And it's a size of convertible, as I said before, so it is very useful to a crowded city where many people live. This is our presentation. Yes. Hanguk GM's Harry Mobile. Is the future of Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Team Manhattan. Sounds like, uh, sounds fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely buy your heli convertible. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm your customer, I guess. And yeah. let's hear from the judges. Okay, uh, I have a question on the uh, about target audience. You said there, uh, it is about 25 to 50 and reach. Do you think it is too broad? Uh, actually, actually, the first time we, we make the 30 to 40, that, that is so narrow. So actually, uh, many smart guys is the many smart guys the, the richie is the uh, is the younger to nowadays so 25 is the reasonable and 50 also the many the older people is the getting the ratio of money so we think the 55 to uh, 25 to 50 is the best uh, target audience did you consider fuel efficiency and the car price um, for the cost efficiency, we, we didn't really worry about it very much because our target audience is rich and they wouldn't mind it if it is very um, useful for them. And they wouldn't have to, there is some cost that should foregone if you want this, if you really want this product and you don't even have to wait in the line. So they wouldn't really mind very much. Okay, thank you for your presentation, Team Manhattan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I believe the contenders are now satisfied with the result of the presentation. And I feel greatly inspired by a real novelty of your design. Very impressive one. However, just one team will move on to compete next competition. And 
the remaining four people will be judged and re-evaluated by the judges and only two of them will move on to next competition. It's a time for announcement as a final verdict. I have the result in my hands. I can't wait to see the results. Okay, let me check. The winning team standing goes to the Team South Pole. Congratulations. And we have four of you left. And don't worry, we still have chances. So we are in our, this is the final judgment now. And so uh, we have the time that you get to ask some uh, questions to the last four remaining. Two of you will be leaving us today and two of you will remain. So if you could ask your uh, final questions, please. Okay, Sahara team. You might face lots of sandstorms in Sahara Desert, but I haven't seen any kind of uh, equipment for protecting from the, uh, the desert storm or something like that. Yeah, actually, desert is really a um, dangerous place to travel, so we need to think about that kind of facts too. But we wanted to focus on like interesting and make our customer happy more because I thought uh, the car made for like traveling Sahara, like the cars. Uh, the rental car, car shop owner has actually really suitable car for Sahara Desert. So I, I thought we need to add more some features can compete compare to Camel. So we focus on that. that the, yeah. the some kind of the desert in the sand can be the worst to the device. We can we also the presentation about our picture in the paragliding. That then means paragliding. If we enjoyable amount of time paragliding, we can covering the car and they make the protect our car. So that's our thought. Chu mm Hyun, -hmm. I want to go back to the question on your target audience. Yes. 25 and 50 is a big range. Do you really think that your flying automobile could have the same things that a 50-year-old would want as a 25-year-old? Because you're almost talking grandfather versus, uh, <laughs> versus grandchild. And just from the way that you market and sell cars, that's almost like two different brands. So how would you overcome that? Actually, the, the feature over Manhattan, the ratio of rich guys live in there. So uh, that means the larger of the rich parents live, live at there. So we, we combine the helicopter and comfortable car, sports comfortable car. Then we, it is the attractive to the, some younger guys as well. So that is the reason. And also I think we could make different models for younger people and the older people. So it would attract both. The one thing you always have to remember is you can't be all things to all people. So um, you have to consider that as, as well. But I like your last point. Thank you. Okay, so that's the end of the mission of presentation. And we'll hear from the judges in a moment after they deliberate. Judges are ready for announcement of the final verdict. The judges, could you tell us uh, who will move on to next competition, please? Uh, yes, uh, we have decided. Um, our next contender uh, is... Our 
our next contender uh, is So Young. Congratulations. Congratulations. So Young. Ah, congratulations. So Young? Yes. You you look very surprised. Yes. Uh, I was really desperate. <laughs> and I thought like she was really good in the presentation. So yeah. I was really nervous and thank you so much. I, <laughs> I want to say I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. That's okay. Say it again. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. And the next survival will be? This was a very tough decision for us, but we did come to one. So the next and the last contender who will move on to the next taping is... Ju Jin Shou. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'll try harder. And Harry Man Ju Hyun, do you can get the lifelong lessons from this the contenders program, and I hope you will do your best in the future. Okay. All right. Next week. We have missions waiting for these four surviving contenders, so don't miss it. So thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. As I mentioned before, I will, I will start to for those who might win. So I'll try again. I really want to go to Hankook GM, but it didn't make it. So I try, 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 and fight it. Yeah, I'm really happy, but I'm kind of feel sorry for I know you guys can get a better job than someone else. I know I believe in you guys. So, fighting. I'm gonna try harder next week because I feel really blessed to be chosen. I think the next stage is the mission. Uh, I, uh, I know that the judges will not make it easy. I'll do my best to make the best results. 